Welcome to part two of a two-part series on how to make a fairy door jar. In this video, I'll show you how I will paint and finish the jar. In the first part, we learned how to sculpt the jar using polymer clay. I'll link the video for that in the description and you better follow along if you haven't seen that one already. So here I'm painting the tree roots. I mixed yellow, red and blue to make a warm brown and I'm just filling in the details of all the tree roots around the jar. I'm using acrylic paint for this project and I'm using a medium brush and a fine detail brush. I'm using the same brown to paint the door and also I will be using the same brown to paint the vine around the door and the windows. Next, I'm going to paint the hardware on the door and the little detail on the door, which is like a little Celtic knot symbol. I'm going to paint black and then I use a nice metallic green to bring out the, the Celtic symbol, which I don't think you'll see until later when it's finished. Next up, I have a pretty metallic green, which I'm using to paint the little vine leaves around the, the doorway. And I do apologize, some of this is off camera. I didn't realize when I was videoing it that it was uh, you know, not in full view at the time. So please bear with me, thanks.
So I'm using that same metallic green, but I added a little black in to make it a little darker. And I'm using it to fill in the moss area around by the door and around by the tree roots. And again, I apologize, this is a little slightly off camera that you can't see it completely. Um, but I do that all the way around where the moss area is. And then I use another color, which is a little lighter, actually a lot lighter. It's more of a light, bright green, I think you can see it there, to highlight some of the moss areas to give it some definition. Now I'm adding some gold details to the door hardware, just so that it makes it pop a little bit and makes it look old and antiqued. So I'm just rubbing a little bit onto the hinges there and then on the door knob itself. Now I'm using a copper color to add some highlights to the door and the tree roots. And this will bring out some of the detail of the woodwork on the door and on the roots too. And it just adds like a little touch of magic to it, I think. As I'm applying the copper, I'm using a pretty dry brush, um, trying to wipe off most of the paint as I do this so it doesn't look too thick, so it looks more natural. Um, what you didn't see on film is also I use white to fill in the windows to make them pop a little bit more and then I added the spots on the mushrooms. And here it is, the completed fairy door jar. I think it turned out super cute 
and it's multifunctional. You know, I'm going to use mine to display my hair ones at my craft fairs. But if you make one, you could use it on your home office desk or on your vanity to hold your makeup brushes. You know, it's multi-purpose. You could use it for a lot of different things. Just add a little magic to your space. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please think about subscribing because I'm going to make some more videos on my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.